here go bud fans once again claiming that i'm hating on this man for asking why is he still the wbo and wba champion let's talk <laughs> Nah, I want a body on my record. Now I wanna see you fight motherfuckers, I do. Alright? I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as as long as you're trying to fight the great, the here or the, the the best competition. So, this guy writes this post to me, calls me a hater like I expected, but let's take our time and read this so we can see exactly what he's talking about. Your hate for Bud is crazy. It like you give him his flowers, then turn around and piss on them. Wow. In your opinion, Bud has fought nothing but bums, not name Errol. Also, way waste his time fighting to become undisputed two-time in the same weight division. I'm sure if Bud would have fought and beat Boots, y'all would then say Boots was nobody, hasn't fought anybody. Just like I told you, they would do in the video, the original video, just like I told you, that's exactly what this man did right away. He missed the part in the original video where I said that Terrence Bud Crawford is arguably the baddest man on earth. Terrence Bud Crawford is pound for pound the number one fighter in the planet. Yeah, he, he missed when I said those things. But according to Bud fans, I'm only supposed to say those and then that's it. I'm supposed to spend... 20, 30, 40 minutes sucking this dude off, according to Bud fans. Now he says, in your opinion, Bud has fought nothing but bums, not named Errol. Who the fuck did he fight, not named Errol? The fuck you mean, in my opinion? Who did he fight, not named Errol? He didn't fight Ugas. He didn't fight Pacquiao. He didn't fight Danny Garcia. He fought Sean Porter after Sean Porter was uh, saying he was ready to retire. He said that he, he his words that, you know, he was ready to retire after Errol Spence. Those are his words. That's not my words. He fought a Kelbrook who Errol Spence had already broke his eye. He fought that Kelbrook who claimed he couldn't even make 147, moved to 154, campaigned at 154, was ranked at 154, and then moved down and fought Terrence Crawford right away after claiming he couldn't make the weight. These are facts. This is not me making it up. You guys are the ones that... Uh, uh, shitted on uh, uh, Kell Brook talking about he had, he had a broken eye when, sh when Errol Spence fought him. 
Okay, well, Earl Spence broke the other eye, so he had two broken eyes. Yeah, so, so you'll point out the fact that Kell Brook had a broken eye when, when Errol Spence fought him. And then you deny the facts that he had two broken eyes when Terrence Crawford fought him. Those are both facts. It's a fact he had one broken eye when Errol fought him. It is also a fact he had two broken eyes when Terrence Crawford fought him. You guys run around here glazing Jeff Horn as if Jeff Horn is the greatest thing since life cheat. Oh, Errol Spence wanted to fight him. Errol wanted to fight him. Er Errol just wanted the belt. He just wanted the belt. Oh, 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 oh why didn't Earl? Why didn't Earl fight him when, when, when Bug got the belt? Oh, that's what you guys did. That, that's what you guys running around here doing. Bro, you do realize they fought. You do realize that they fought. So, 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 who should I be sitting here saying, giving this man the best of the credit for, and saying, "Oh, look at his resume. Look at his resume. Look at his resume." Who? Amir Khan, who damn near was killed in the ring by Canelo Alvarez, and then moved down from 155, moved down to fight Terence Crawford. This man damn near died in the ring. And I'm supposed to give him credit for that? Who? Benavidez, who had one leg? Who am I supposed to give him credit for? Who? Who? Because he didn't fight Danny Garcia. He didn't fight Sean Porter. I mean, uh, Keith Thurman. Yeah, he refused to fight Sean Porter for years because that's my friend and I got no desires to fight Sean. Those are his words. The fuck you, so so I'm a hater because of that nigga's words. I'm the hater because he said he has no desire to fight fight Sean. So if Sean would be Errol Spence, he's got no desire to fight Sean Porter, but he wants undisputed. So if Sean Porter would have been the unified uh, WBC and IBF champion, I guess Terence Crawford would have never been came and undisputed because he had no desire to fight Sean Porter. But, but that I'm the hater. Fucking incredible! This is incredible. Inc you don't even know who he fought at 35. All you know is Gamboa. That's all you know. Who at 40? Who? Postal and Mendongo? Didn't fight Edward Chornowski. Didn't fight Regis Porgray. Yeah, he did fight those guys at all. So I'm trying to figure out what the fuck you're talking about. And then you go on to say, Way waste, what you mean is why. Why waste his time fighting to become undisputed two times in the same weight division? Well, he did not have to waste his time to fight to become undisputed in two and two times in the same weight class. He could have just fought his dub, his IBF mandatory. That's what Jerron Boots Ennis was, his IBF mandatory. He refused to fight his mandatory after claiming, no, I always fight him, my mandums. Why don't Earl Spence fight his mandum? Because his mandatory was Jerron Boots Ennis, the IBF mandatory was Jerron Boots Ennis. So when Terrence Crawford beat Errol Spence, he picked up the IBF mandatory and then ducked it. Well, I always fought my mandums. I'm all, I'm, well, you know, my mandums. I'm always, I'm, 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 I'm always fight my mandums. And then you ducked your mandatory. Yeah, you fought your mandatory when they were all trash. But when it's Jerron Boots Ennis, you ducked your mandatory. And now this guy is saying, I'm sure... If Bud would have fought and beat Boots, y'all would then say Boots was nobody and hasn't fought anyone. <laughs> okay, well, if that's the case, then Errol Spence is nobody and he hasn't fought nobody. That, that's, that's what y'all said about Errol Spence. Errol Spence is a nobody and hasn't fought nobody. Who is Danny Garcia? He's a bum. Who got saved nobody? Sean Porter arguably beat him. Yeah, he ain't nobody. Kell Brook had a broken eye. Errol Spence didn't fight nobody. Yeah, so according to y'all, which is what y'all have been saying for years, since 2017, that's what you guys have been saying. Kell Brook had a broken eye. He ain't nobody. He's nothing. Danny Garcia is bum. He ain't elite. Danny Garcia ain't nobody. Danny Garcia is trash. Danny Garcia ain't shit. Yeah, oh, Mikey Garcia was too small. Look how small Mikey Garcia was. Mikey Garcia was so little. Mikey Garcia is a tiny guy, a little small guy. Little tiny small. He didn't even stop him. He should have stopped little tiny small Mikey Garcia. That's what you guys were saying. So then, according to you, Errol Spence ain't shit. And Errol Spence ain't nobody. So why the fuck should I say Terrence Crawford's the baddest man in the world then? If he beat a nobody, according to y'all niggas. No. Jerron Boots Ennis is the goods. Errol Spence is the goods. Terrence Crawford beat Errol Spence, who is the goods. That is the reason why Terrence Crawford is the man, because he beat the man. That's, how, that's why he's the man. If he beat Jerron Boots Ennis, he'd be more of the man. He wouldn't be less of it. 
and Jerome Boutenis would stop this dude, Mog Mormonev, bum. Wherever the fuck this bum ass nigga he's fighting in 54. Boots would stop him badly. That doesn't go five rounds. He stops that dude. This dude walks straight forward with no defense, just looking to land punches. The perfect opponent for Terrence Crawford to fight and look good against. The perfect one. Yeah, because he could have fought Jerron Boots in this and still fight this dude, Mugamon Bum. He can still fight this dude, Mock Mormav Bum, whatever the fuck his name is, Bum. He can still fight him. He could have fought Boots and then fought Mock Mormav Bum. Mordor Bum. Yeah, he can still fight this nigga, but yeah, here you are. Oh, man. Your hate for Bud is crazy. If I hate Bud so much, if this is what you believe, why the fuck are you following me? Why the fuck are you subscribed to me? That's what that, that fucking red thing right there, that red thing next to six hours, that red thing right, that's what that means. You follow me. So why the fuck do you follow me if I hate the nigga you dick rot? Why? Why do you listen to me if that's what you believe? Because this whole statement is blatant, blatant fucking dick riding, bro. He is campaigning at 154. He has moved to 154. Why is he the WBA champion at 147? He's about to fight Mock Moore move bum for the WBA title at 54. Why is he still the held? Why does he still have the champion there? Why is he the WBO champion? Why is Brian Norman the interim champion waiting for Terrence Crawford to do something? Why? He's not fighting at 47 no more. It is not hating for telling this motherfucker, bro, you're campaigning at 54, bro. You don't need to hold these belts at 47. That is not fucking hating. Dumbass nigga, that's not hating. I'm pointing out a motherfucking fact, a truth. It is not hating. It, it, this is, there's no hate in this statement at all. You are about to become the, the, the unified champion at 154. You have said you, you want to become undisputed at 54. To, to do it three times in three different weight classes. That's what you said. Legendary shit. What are you holding the belts for at 40? I mean, 47. And if you hold them at 47, why the fuck don't you have them at 40 still? You didn't lose at 40. You did not lose the belts at 40. You vacated them. To move on for bigger and better things. So what are you holding on to the belts at 47 for? That is not a hater statement. That is a logical, realistic statement. There is no reason for you to hold the belts at 47 if you are campaigning at 54. And it's crazy. That you niggas will run in here and say this goofy ass shit to me. So fucking crazy. But a very simple Google search will bring up all of these. I mean, a very, very, very simple Google search. Well, let's just see something now. This one. A uh, this one. A uh, this one. This one. That one. This one. That one. And this one. So all these things talking about Errol Spence is holding up the division. A few of them say Terrence Crawford. Majority say Errol Spence is holding up the division. That's what majority of them say. Majority. So why didn't, why don't I see this dude under all of these? Talking about, come on, man. Why are you hating on, on Errol? Errol wants to fight Bud. Or, or on the ones where they say, Steve Thurman says Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford are holding up the division. Why aren't you under those talking about, man, Keith Thurman, these guys ain't holding up the division. They want to fight each other. Bud ain't holding nothing. He wants to fight. Where were you? Because I didn't see you on any of those. Because I looked. I didn't see Daryl Moore 6486 under none of those. I looked. But yet all I'm doing is asking this man to drop those belts at 47. You're not campaigning there no more. Drop those belts and campaign at where you're campaigning at. You are about to fight for two belts at 54. Congratulations. It's some legendary shit, bro. Why are you holding belts at 47 when there is guys that are there that are trying to unify the division? How are they gonna, what are they gonna, they're not going to be able to unify while you are the champion. Brian Norman can't unify the WBO interim title with somebody. That, he's not gonna, that's not going to be a unification because you're still the champion. Stannis Baratheon can't unify the WBA uh, 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 interim. He can't unify that. He, he needs you to be gone to unify. And you can simply drop them. There is no point, no purpose for you holding them on. You've accomplished a mission. You've climbed to the mountaintop. 
You beat the guy sitting on top of the mountaintop. There's nothing for you there. You're at a whole nother mountain trying to climb that one. Why are you still holding on to shit from that one? What's the point? But yet I'm a hater for telling this man, bro, you're on a whole new mountain trying to climb to higher heights doing legendary shit. There's no reason for you to hold on to the 147 pound belts, just like there was no reason for you to hold on to the 140 pound belts. No reason. No reason. And again, y'all, with the same motherfuckers crying like some hoes, talking about, oh man, the IBF stripped them. Uh, the, the, all of them should have stripped this nigga. He had no intentions on, on defending them. He has no intentions on defending them. They Everybody should have stripped this man. All of them, all four sanctioned bodies should have stripped this man. He has no intentions on defending any belt at 47. None. He is campaigning at 54. He ain't moving back down. That is not hate. Those are facts. He is not moving back down. He didn't move back down to 140. For what reason? He accomplished it already. He climbed that mountaintop already. What's the point of going back down to 47? He's already climbed the mountain. That mountain is conquered. He's on to another mountain to conquer. I'm not saying nothing that's hating. These are factual statements. He's about to conquer or trying to conquer 154. What's the fucking problem? That's some legendary shit. But you think it's hating? So, so let me guess. I would not be hating if I said Terrence Crawford should be the undisputed champion at 140. The, the, he should be the WBO champion at 135. The WBO right now. Fuck Danny's Baranchik. Dennis Branching, Terrence Crawford should be the WBO champion at 135. He should be the undisputed champion at 140. Nobody should have a belt. Nobody. Everybody should be interim champions. He should still be the undisputed champion at 147. Everybody should be interim champions, and he should be fighting at 54. Now, if I say that, then I, oh, yeah, he's BF speaking facts. Them is facts right there. No, they're not. No, they're not. That is dick riding, and that's what you're doing. That is dick riding. You accomplish the task. You accomplish the mission. It is now on to another mission. Another mission. 154 is another mission. This is his next mission. He's accomplishing the next task. He's climbing the next mountain. This is historical and legendary shit. Congratulations to the pound for pound number one fighter in the world and arguably the baddest man on earth. Congratulations. There's no hate into that. I'm asking this man, what the fuck is he holding on to the 47 belts for when he didn't hold on to the, to the 40 belts and didn't hold on to the 35 belt? Why is he hurt on the hold on the 40? You're saying I'm a hater. Fucking pathetic. You're a dick rider of epic proportions. This shit is, this is sad, bro. Fucking sad. If that's the case, then why did Usyk drop any belts at Cruiserweight? There should be no Cruiserweight champion except for Usyk. Everybody else should be interim champions, if that's the case. As, as a matter of fact, using your analogy, motherfucking uh, 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 Vander Holyfield should still be the cruiserweight champions. Using your logic, a Lennox Lewis should still be the heavyweight champion. He didn't lose him. He didn't lose his belts. He just retired. So he could come back tomorrow. And, and, and so he's be everybody should be fighting for interim championships according to your fucking dick riding ass. You, you are getting the most dumbest asinine statements in the fucking world. If that's the case, Floyd Mayweather should still be the WBC and WBA champions at 154. Floyd Mayweather should still be the WBC, WBA, uh, and WBO champions at, and, and IBF champion at 147. He didn't lose any of his belts. Oh, man, why you strip Floyd Mayweather from the WBO belt? That's crazy why you strip Floyd Mayweather. Oh, well, well hey, he didn't lose them. 50 and 0. He should have all the belts. This is the dumbest fucking statement from a fucking dick rider. I, this is the dumbest shit in the world. The dumbest. Devin Haney should still be the undisputed champion at 135 right now. He didn't lose any of his belts. He didn't lose any. Devin Haney should be, he should be able to campaign at 140 and still be the undisputed champion at 135, according to this nigga right here. Monster Renewi should be undisputed in two weight classes. He should have all the belts, eight belts right now. Every, it should just be all interim champions. Can't nobody do shit unless Monster Renewi says so. Canelo Alvarez should be the unified champion at middleweight and still the undisputed champion at, at 168 and have the WBO strap at 175. Right now. 
he shouldn't have to drop any belt unless he decides to drop a belt. And if you say th uh, say otherwise, then you're hating. Gervonta Tank Davis should be the IBF and the WBA champion at 130 right now. And the WBA champion at 135 right now. Nobody should have to tell him to drop any belts. He should be able to keep all of them. Everybody should be fighting for interim titles right now. You see how stupid that sounds, nigga? But for some strange reason, it sounds great when you say, oh, well, Bud, Bud should just be the 135-pound champion right now. It's crazy. You're hating on Bud if you're saying, why, why isn't Bud still 135 champion? You're hating on Bud if you're saying, why isn't Bud still 140 undisputed champion? Bud should be the un he should be the undisputed 40-pound champion. He should be undisputed right now. You guys are hating. You hating on Bud. I'm hating on him. All I'm asking him to do is to climb the mountain where he's at right now. He's already climbed the mountain at 130, uh, 140. He's climbed the mountain at 147. He has no intentions on going back down there. None. He's already, he already said that Jerron Boots and his bring nothing to the table. Well, if that's the case, neither does Stannis Baratheon and neither does Brian Norman. So then there is no reason for this man to hold on to two belts. No reason you are campaigning for two belts at 154. That is not hate. That is fucking reality, you dick riding ass nigga. BFTB, shout to the mighty, mighty LDBC.